It is finally time for Rock Your School. Hello everyone and welcome to my Rock Your School video. I can't wait to show you the progress of everything that I'm doing to get ready for Rock Your School and also take you along with us on Thursday, 9-19-19 for Rock Your School. Right now I'm coming to you on Tuesday, September 17, 2019. And the reason I'm coming to you today is because we got our first packages from Amazon. I went ahead because my parents had asked me previously that if I was planning to do anything with my students to let them know because they would like to make donations and help make those activities a success. So I created an Amazon wish list with all the different decorations and little trinkets that I wanted to include as part of our Rock Your School Day, which I am using a rock and roll theme to go with Rock Your Writing. But we're also going to use the rock and roll theme throughout the entire day in different subjects in one way or another. So I can't wait to share with you how that comes out. So right now, I got my first two packages from that Amazon wish list delivered to my classroom today. So let's check out and see what's inside. So here are the packages. Let me get some scissors, open them up, and see what we find. Oh my goodness, this is like so much fun. So I just opened this envelope, and in here we have, check these out. These are guitar picks that are necklaces. And they say different things. Well, some of them just have pictures that go with the rock and roll theme. So with the microphone and the notes. And I know that some of them say like rock on and things like that. This is from Oriental Trading, but Amazon sells them. And they were free shipping if you have Prime. And they come 12 to a pack. I did order uh, or I did ask for three of them. I went ahead and purchased the third one. The reason that I asked for three of them is because right now I have 24 students and I wanna make sure all 25 of my students have one of these. So look, rock on, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. So this is part of the little trinkets and things like that that the kids will get on Thursday. And in this envelope we have these discs or you know vinyl records that are decorations. I'm gonna put them around the room. Actually, these will probably be part of the centerpiece decorations for each team. So these are our first two editions for our Rock Your School Day with the rock and roll theme. I am loving this. So tomorrow, Wednesday, we're expecting more of these things to be delivered, hopefully by the end of the day. And I will be setting up this classroom tomorrow after the kids leave so that it's all ready to go for our Rock Your School Day on Thursday with our rock and roll theme. And yes, I even have an outfit that it's gonna go along with that, but more on that a little later so I don't spoil all the surprises. All right, so that's all I have to share with you for today, Tuesday. It's just a little bit of taking you along as I get these packages and start to get the ideas and everything. I will reveal more as the day comes for Rock Your School. So stay tuned. I'm probably gonna come to you tomorrow, Wednesday, to share with you more of these little packages that I'll be receiving. So see you then. Hello, everyone. It is now Wednesday, which is the day before Rock Your School. This is the day that I'm going to start decorating the room and getting it ready for tomorrow. I'm happy to say that we have received so many more packages today. Yesterday, I showed you those two packages that came in. Watch how many packages we now have that were delivered today, and I will be unboxing them right now. Check out all these envelopes and boxes and packages. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different packages. And then yesterday we got two, so there's been 11 packages in total. Yesterday I also went to Dollar Tree and I bought some Pop Rocks, of course, since we're doing a rock and roll theme. And I was gonna go with black table covers. These are the plastic ones from Dollar Tree that are only a dollar. But I found all these colors and I think I wanted to add more color to the classroom. And that way also I can differentiate the teams based on their team color. And I actually found table covers for every single team that I have in my classroom. So here are all the five colors. I did get a black one for our kidney table, which is gonna have some goodies and different things that I'm gonna put there, including the Pop Rocks. So these packages of Pop Rocks 
are sold in Dollar Tree. They come three to a pack for a dollar. And I got enough so that each student can get a Pop Rock. And I'm trying to find a creative way to attach it to the lessons tomorrow. So I'll let you know how I do that once I'm done brainstorming. It's still a work in progress. <laughs> and here are some trays that I also bought at Dollar Tree that I'm going to use to showcase some of the treats. And these are plastic containers. Look how pretty those colors. All from Dollar Tree. Let me see what else. We have a plastic bowl here and another one. So yeah, these are my finds from Dollar Tree. And now let's open these packages and see what is in here. I am more than excited to do this. I have only a few minutes before I need to go down to the faculty meeting and I'm looking around, not sure if I have my tripod here. So if I can't find it, I think I'm just gonna open up the packages and just do it, like move the camera like I was just doing. So let me see if I can find my tripod. All right, so I couldn't find my tripod. I think I must have taken it home, so I need to now search for it at home to make sure I have it in a secure place. But I went ahead and I opened all the packages. So now let's take a look at what's inside. All right, let's start with this one since it's right here and it's nice and open. All right, so we have the rest of these guitar pick necklaces that I showed yesterday. I needed three packs of 12 because I do have 25 students and I wanna make sure each kid gets one. And again, these come from Oriental Trading, but I got it at Amazon. And yes, these are the lanyards that are going to be for the backstage passes that I'm going to make today before I leave, laminate them, and they'll be on the desk waiting for the students. So they'll have their name. It'll say like backstage, all access pass and things like that. And yeah, awesome. Lanyards and guitar pick necklaces. Check. So now let's see what's inside of this package here. Yes, okay. So these are a little different decorations than I had thought, but we can still use it. Can you dig it? Good vibes only. So we probably can use the ones that don't have any words on them and the little swirlies. So that is for decorations. Those will be hung from the ceiling. And now we're moving on to these envelopes here. So, oh yes, these are our backdrops and there's two in the pack. And I'm thinking of putting these over there to cover that corner where our library is. Yeah, the books will be covered, but it's only for one day. So this is super duper important. This is our backdrop. Without that, I don't think it'll complete the whole look. So let's see what else. All right, another gold Amazon package. Okay, so these I believe came from another list that I have. Okay, well that was nice. Somebody got us something from my other list and these are definitely something that I will need. So let me just put those there. All right, let's see what's in this package. Okay, so we have another one of these. I guess I had people buy multiple ones. Well, that's fine. We'll find some uses for them as well. So more guitar pick necklaces. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yes. These are one of the main things that I wanted. So there's six different Rockstar guitars. There are six inflatable guitars, six shutter shades, and six inflatable microphones. I will be inflating these today because these are going to be part of the centerpieces for each group. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad they came. This is really completing the look for our Rock Your School Day. And now we're gonna move on to the boxes, which is the last of it, so let's see. So we have here a box within a box. So let me open this and let you know what it is. All right, yes, these are little trophies that I'm also going to use as centerpieces for their tables. So they're little guitar, star guitar trophies kind of thing. So I wanted to use them as decorations for their table as well. And I believe this is a pack of 12, so maybe two per table since I have five teams. So yeah, and then we have some extras. And here is another box. Let's see what's inside of this box. All right, so we have the rest of the shades because the first one didn't bring enough shades for everybody. So this one has the shades and the mesh gloves, etc. I believe this is a pack with 12, so there should be two packs of these. I do have another box here, so yes, perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Basically, almost everything is here already. 
and these will be at each group as well. So they'll each have a shaders. They'll have one of these mesh gloves and they'll have some jelly roll little bracelets. So I also have some more mesh gloves that are coming in because these are 24 and again, I have 25 kits, but this inflatable guitar kit brings shaders. So I have one of these that I can use for my 25th student. And there's enough of these jelly bracelets that I can just give, like separate them evenly. And then I would just need one of these for that particular student. But wow, pretty much everything that I wanted with the exception of maybe two things that should still be on its way because they say they will be delivered today by 8 p.m. So, but I have the bulk of what I need in order to get the room set up. So I'm very excited to get that done. All right, so that will not happen until after the faculty meeting. So right now I'm just gonna grab my iPad, go down to the faculty meeting. And then after the faculty meeting, I do have my son's girlfriend here, Nanny. Nanny's here. Say hi, Nanny. Say hi, Hello. Nanny. Look how beautiful this girl is. <laughs> so cute. And my son will be coming after school because he gets out like in two minutes. And yeah, today is early release for us, but the high school still gets out at the same time. So once everybody's here, we can start like setting up the room and decorating it. And I can work on last minute things like, like making the backstage passes for the kids and setting everything up on their tables so that when they come tomorrow, they're gonna be ready to rock their school day, literally and figuratively. <laughs> All right, so I'll catch up with you later. All right, I am back from my faculty meeting. So right now I'm going to start setting up this classroom, starting with the desk and setting up the desk and decorating them so that they are ready to go for tomorrow morning when the kids come in. And I already kind of started working on the centerpieces with the inflatable guitars and microphones. And I used some of my baskets that I had in the classroom before. These are the same baskets I'm planning to use for my morning tubs once I get that going but I wanted to kind of show you how they look for now. So here is one of the inflatable guitars and one of the inflatable mics. So each team has an inflatable guitar and an inflatable mic. They can't really stand up because this is so shallow. It doesn't provide enough support for the guitar to stay up. So instead, so that it stays there, kind of like just put this part of the guitar through this little handle that the basket already has, so it kind of stays there. And this is how the rest of the guitars look for now. There's one tub for each different team. All right, so let me get going with organizing these desks and getting it all ready to go for tomorrow. And I'll show you the end results. Coming to you from the concert. Not really, this is our backdrop. <laughs> One of two sets that I put around the classroom library area. And I just did my best and the kids are going to love it either way. I guess I could have done it differently, but this is what I did. I moved the couch off to the side for tomorrow just so that it's kind of out of the way. And we have space for our stage right in the front. But now I'm gonna show you how the desks look. And as you saw from the clip, I also did their backstage passes with their names. So very cute. It's all ready to go. Now I'm just gonna go home and do some last minute finishing touches on the lessons for tomorrow. So it's everything's ready to go for tomorrow. We start with science, so we're doing a star finder. And I already printed those out so that as soon as the kids come in in the morning and they put on their rock star attires, they get started on creating the star finder that will lead into the science lesson for tomorrow. So check it out. So first and foremost, here's the backdrop. So here's one of them. It was actually a package that brought two. And here's the other one. I'm going to back up so you can kind of see it a little better. There you have it. So the students have two backdrops to kind of choose from to kind of take their pictures. It does go over our books, but it's okay. It's just for one day. And this is how their tables look with all of the decorations on it and their backstage passes. So as you can see, the little buckets have the guitar with the microphone. This is their backstage passes. It says Miss Sanchez's fourth grade class, Rock Your School 9 19, 19 
And these discs are all around those buckets and each kid is getting one of these for their hands shades and all these jelly bracelets everyone's getting six of them in rainbow color that was enough for that and they're also getting this guitar pick kind of necklace so that is ready to go ready to rock and roll tomorrow i also set up our kidney table with our goodies so here's the pop rocks the starburst because we're stars oreos will go here which represent like music discs and these containers will be for the pretzel rods with the marshmallow tops which are the drumsticks and over here will be our pringles because those represent guitar picks but that is how everything is set up i also have these little hanging decorations they kind of look like disco balls around the ceiling and that is an actual disco ball that i'll turn on tomorrow morning when the kids come in all right so i am very tired it is past eight o'clock 8 20 p.m just being real with you. I haven't had time on Wednesdays. I don't have planning. And then we have the faculty meeting. So that's how it goes. All right. So now I'm going to take you on to tomorrow, which is Rock Your School Day. So I hope that I can share with you what we end up doing. And I'll also show you my outfit for tomorrow because it is something that I've really never done before. So, all right. See you then. Good morning. It is finally time for Rock Your School. So welcome. I am in my outfit sporting a wig. I've never worn a wig before. I don't know if I did it correctly, but we're just going to go with it for today. A bummer that my voice is not 100% because I am going to teach the kids a song today for writing because we're going to rock our writing. And let me just show you a little bit so that you can kind of see. So I'm wearing my Edu Rockstar Get Your Teach On shirt. I have my backstage pass. I'm also wearing my Lily Pop lanyard for Get Your Teach On as well. And I have an LED tutu. So there it is, looking from above, my LED tutu. And I am wearing my Converse sneakers. So that is my outfit for today's Rockin' Get Your Teach On, Rock Your School Day. And I hope that the students are able to have a rockin' time today. So I also have my karaoke mic that I will be using as the day progresses. So if I can just turn it on. So here it is. And I will be using it throughout the day. So the that we are going to be using today which I'll teach the kids as soon as they come in this morning I will say ready to rock and they'll say ready to roll and they're coming in in about 15 minutes so I'm excited we're gonna start the day with science with our star finders and having them choose a constellation that represents them or best represents them I'm gonna show them a little bit of information about those constellations that they do choose and that they can also see in the star finder and we'll have a great discussion about that then they're going to go to specials lunch recess and then we'll continue the afternoon with writing math and end the day with social studies all right can't wait to take you along with me on this rocking day i'm so excited i keep saying that i'm sorry i'm so corny <laughs> sometimes i am all right anyway i will take you along with me and show you how it goes little by little as much as i can and definitely give you my reflection at the end of the day so this is it the moment i've been preparing and planning for let's do this and before i let the kids in i'll make sure i turn on the disco ball so let me do that right now before i forget all right the disco ball is on i kind of dimmed the lights and we are ready to roll so excited for today all right 10 more minutes until it's time to rock and roll so here we go i forgot i wanted to quickly show you the lesson for this morning the activity that we're gonna do so this is a star finder that i found i'll link the website down below this is the sleeve where it goes so the students will cut around it fold and cut around the circle place the circle in the sleeve they will cut this circle or this oval out so that they can find the stars that are visible during the time that they're looking at. Then we're gonna learn about the constellations. They're gonna get this little four by four piece of construction paper and they're going to draw the constellation that best represents them, that they feel best represents them. And they're gonna do that with a white color pencil. 
And then on an index card, they're going to explain what their constellation is and why they chose it as the constellation that best describes themselves. And I have different colors, so it can be colorful if they like. And uh, just keeping it simple, but it's a neat little activity to start our Rock Your School Day. All right, it's time to let the kids in now. Let me get my microphone and welcome them inside to have a great day today. Update time, it is now lunchtime. We did not have specials this morning. I was counting on that prep time to finalize a couple of other things, but I'm just gonna do it while the kids are in the room. We have recess after lunch, and one of our parents graciously got the whole entire class enough of these little guitar trophies so that every kid gets one. So I'm thinking to just give it to the kids as a way of celebrating today and how they got their learning and rocked on while doing that. So. Yeah, I think it'll be a little nice keepsake along with the other goodies that I got for them. I wanted to show you one of the things that I was making while the kids were finishing up their constellation little science activity. Let me show you how mine turned out. So here's the star finder, which is so awesome. It works so nicely. And then we started going on a website, which I'll also share with you later on getting more information about the different constellations. I chose Orion to best represent me and I explained. So the kids did something similar to this. I gave them the little piece of paper like I showed you with the white color pencil and the students have been drawing and writing why they chose that constellation. Here's another one. Just giving you some ideas of what the students have been creating. Very, very cute. And here's another one. These little constellations will go on our science display board so that we have our own little window to the stars kind of way. So lots of great learning happening this morning, even though we are rocked out, even though this is like the way we are today dressed, the students are having a great time learning. We're still hitting the standards, but we're doing it in a fun, engaging way. So let me show you the treat table. I started putting together the pretzel rods with the marshmallows. These represent drumsticks, and of course we have Starburst because we're stars, and of course the Pop Rocks because we rock. But the drumsticks are like a kind of like a reminder for writing to stick to the topic as they are writing. And then I'll let you know more about the other treats that go here and over there. But first, I gotta eat because I literally have like maybe 10 minutes to eat. So let me do that and I will try to show you a little bit of glimpses here and there throughout the day, but I will catch back with you at the end of the school day. See you then. So on my way to pick up the class, I was asked to stop by the office to pick up this box with my name on it. It's actually a gift that I got from the principal for having the best decorated class on the second floor. So I'm here with the students and I'm trying to open it. And I thought to pick up the camera to kind of see what's inside. What is this? The paperback collection. Oh my gosh! Is it books for our class? Y'all, you know, I love books. I, I can't have enough books. I was wondering why it was so heavy. I think it's books. Oh my God, okay, yeah, I think it's books, but I wonder what titles are here. So it's a paperback collection from Saddleback, and it says here, middle grade, moral focus, small box set, so let's see. Lexile levels, 140 to 530. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, here we go. Okay. It is books. So it appears that we have three books that are in a series. So it's Robinson's Hood, book one, book two, The Bank of Badness, and book three, Chopped. So that's one set. Then we have Tail Gunner, the story of a bombing raid. Whoa, okay. The Best Week Ever, Mudslide, Shelter, fight, the worst year ever. So that's a continuation from the other one. No exceptions. And a whole bunch of other little chapter books. All right, so this is good stuff. Not just a gift for me, but a gift for the entire class for being one of the best decorated classes in the entire floor. All right, so we're gonna have some recess and then we're gonna continue to rock and learn.
Hello everyone, so it's now the end of the day and my voice feels like it's really leaving me like if I have really been at a rock concert. But I hope you saw some of the glimpses and yes, I have my wig back on. I know in the last clip I didn't because it was really hot and I needed to have a break from it. And the kids were like, just take it off, Miss Sanchez. So I took it off for a bit because honestly, it was warm and I needed to like cool off. But anyway, it's back on because I want to do a, another little video clip so you can see my entire outfit. And also before I put down the backdrops for the stage, I had a couple of girls stay after school, my students, and help me clean up most of the room, like a majority of the room. And I only have a few things to put away. The desk are arranged back in the usual way, and I do have to clear off my kidney table. But it was a really great day. We ended up having to have a class meeting after lunch because we needed to discuss something really important that happened during lunch. So that took away part from other activities that I had planned for the day. But the bulk of it was my writing activity and I still was able to do that. So after we had our class meeting, the kids had some recess time and then we continued the day with our writing, which included our reading time. And yeah, I introduced opinion writing, the analytical writing process, and I had all those treats that I showed you, and I wrote on the board all the different meanings behind all the yummy treats. And this is what we ended up adding to the board. So the drumsticks that you saw that I put together with pretzel rods and marshmallows are to stick to the topic so you can have a great beat throughout your essay. The star bursts are to have bursts of evidence throughout your essay. Pop rocks are to rock your writing with popping explosion of details and elaboration. The Oreo serves two purposes. Of course, the acronym of Oreo, opinion, reason, evidence, and elaboration, and opinion again. And I told them that, that refers to your introduction, body, and conclusion, and the reason and evidence and elaboration is at least two times. Which brings me to this. So we refer to our introduction as the opening act, the body as the main event, and the conclusion as the encore, since we were rocking it out today with writing. And the Pringles symbolize the guitar picks, which is to pick the right evidence and details for your topic. And of course, with that, I emphasize to make sure you pick evidence and details that go together and group those together in your body. So it was a great introduction. The kids really loved it. They didn't want to go home. They wanted us to keep on going, which is a great feeling. They appreciated it. I had a lot of kids that say thank you. And I want to take the time right now to say a big thank you to all the parents that made this event possible with the decorations, with the food treats that they brought in even today. I mean, I am more than grateful. And again, I couldn't have done it without their help and support, definitely. So I also wanted to show you, I rewrote the lyrics to We Will Rock You to go along with the type of writing that we do. And I taught the kids the song. We really took our time. We slowed down the verses. And then I went to YouTube and I got the karaoke version of We Will Rock You and they performed it and they were great. So we'll probably do an encore of that tomorrow so that they can keep remembering all the steps in the analytical writing process and how we write our essays, which a lot of it made sense once I went over the entire process. So let me show you that right now. So this is my We Will Rock Our Writing. So instead of We Will Rock You, We Will Rock Our Writing. And we don't repeat the we will, we will. We just say, we will rock our writing. So I had this version written back when we used to do FCAT. And I decided to rewrite it for this type of writing that we do now. So this is how it goes. I'm going to try my best with my raspy voice. Breaking down the prompt, that's where we're going to start. We read it twice and find the APT. We circle the keyword, underline the topic. Using these skills, we'll better understand singing. We will rock our writing. And then when I said that, the kids are like, we should repeat writing at the end. So basically they went, we will rock our writing, writing. We will rock our writing, writing. Read the sources twice and annotate the text. Gather evidence and make a plan. Have a great introduction. Restate the prompt. Describing with details all over the place. Singing. And then we go to the chorus. And the last verse is, 
Our writing's organized with great support using elaboration and evidence. Our conventions are great. Your reader's impressed. Now for sure you're going to get the high score singing. We will rock our writing. So that's the little song that I wrote and it was part of our Rock Your School Day. So I mean, in reality, I did like multiple Rock Your School lessons. I did the room transformation. I did the engaging science lesson with the constellations. I did the song that went over what we were learning. And I did the food with the different meanings. And of course, the engaging lesson that we had in writing, which I'll show you the little booklet, which is the one that I had made before. So here it is. I'm basically going over unit one week one, which was opinion writing because we never got to do it. And I show them how to do the APT, one, two, three. APT stands for audience, purpose, and task. So the audience is who I'm writing to. The purpose is based on the type of essay and the task is based on the topic, which I usually tell them to write it in the form of a question. And this is where we gathered our evidence from our three sources that we read in that unit. This is a content frame. And then here they had their elaboration because it was whether the idea will work for them or not. We didn't get to do the plan today, but we'll do that tomorrow. And then I'll show them how to write their introductions and they'll go ahead and do it. So that was basically the bulk of the lessons today and all the fun we had learning, still addressing the standards, still making it be meaningful for the students. And right now I'm going to ask my dear nanny to video record me in my full on get up over there by that backdrop before we put them down. So here you go. All right, so this is the full outfit, so you can take a look. The wig, which is like straight hair. I have my Get Your Teach On lanyard from Lily Pop Lanyards. I have my little VIP All Access Backstage Pass that I made with my name. Every kid got one of these. And of course, I have my tutu with the blinking lights. I'm wearing some black pants and my Converse sneakers with these cool like doodles and stuff. So that is my get up in my stage backdrop for today's Rock Your School. All right, so that's all I have to share with you for my Rock Your School experience. It was really meaningful. I do have to say it does take a lot for me because, oh wow, the kids get super excited, but I'm excited that they're excited. And now I'm ready to take a nap by the time I go home. But it's all worth it because it made learning so meaningful for the students. They had a lot of fun learning and they didn't see writing as being like a chore or boring. It was meaningful for them. And I'm sure that this is an experience that they'll remember for the rest of the school year, especially with a song because I'll be bringing it back and forth so that they remember all the steps that they need to do when they're writing essays in our fourth grade class. So I hope you enjoy coming along with me for my experience. This is my first Rock Your School Day, and it was amazing. I look forward to doing it again next year. And if you enjoy coming along with me, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day, and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.